G'day, it's Tony Burke. Albo and I are standing now where we stood about, it'd be 12 years ago, we were here and it was just a park. The storm water over there now gets intercepted. It goes through newly built wetlands and by the time that polluted water makes it back to the Cooks River, it's now pristine. You can hear behind the birds that have turned up. It's a classic case of building and they will come. And it's part of a commitment from federal labor that nature should never be too far from home and that we need to clean up our urban rivers. That's why Labor's started an urban rivers program. It's worth $200 million, and we are limiting how many rivers will be eligible for it to make sure that those that are eligible are able to then get hold of serious major projects to deal with the whole catchment, to deal with getting the plastic out of our rivers, because we want our rivers to be a home for nature and for recreation, not to be a pathway for pollution to make its way straight out to the ocean. So today I can announce on that limited list, the Cooks River will be one of those few urban rivers that is eligible. Thanks, Berkey. Well, this is a very exciting announcement. Uh, Labor is the party that's concerned about urban policy and what this site here at Cup and Saucer Creek shows is how with a relatively small investment coupled with the commitment of the community to uplift the quality of life and the amenity in their local community you can make an enormous difference. It's important to acknowledge that for years community groups have gathered around urban rivers just like this. They've been out there on the weekends cleaning up the rubbish They've been involved in revegetating the banks. Local government has played a role in trying to facilitate projects. But if we seriously want to clean up our urban waterways, you need a federal program that will put the money on the table. That's what Urban Rivers is all about, and that's why we're announcing it today.